Hi, my name's Alice from Discover AI. At Discover AI, we specialize in Power BI for the environmental and water industry. In this short video, we'll be exploring how we can use Icon Map in Power BI to visualize WMS layers to display dynamic rasters of koala habitats. So we can see we've got the Icon Map here, and what we can do using Icon Map is dynamically display really high resolution raster images, which are hosted as WMS layers within our map here. But first, why would we want to connect to a WMS layer? So for those of you who haven't come across Icon Map in Power BI, it's one of my favorite mapping visuals because it allows for such flexibility and customization, including the ability to connect to a WMS hosted spatial layer. So a WMS or a web map service is a standard protocol for serving georeference map images over the internet that are generated by a map server using data from a GIS database. And this is a really great way of accessing publicly available spatial layers. So like what we'll explore in this example, um, displaying detailed raster layers or adding contextual spatial data sets to your Power BI maps that you don't want to import into Power BI. And the best part about this is that we can dynamically change the WMS layers using conditional formatting. So for more examples and information, be sure to check out the dedicated Icon Map website. Uh, we've got a link in the PBEX here. Um, but I'll walk through an example today. And just a little bit more background on how I stumbled across the option of visualizing uh, WMS layers. I was recently working on a project uh, with a client where we had some really high resolution spatial modeling outputs that we wanted to display in our Power BI reports using Icon Map. And we explored options of exporting uh, the rasters and saving them as polygon files. Um, but you could imagine just how big these files were and we really quickly exceeded uh, the character text limit in Power BI. Uh, we explored ways of getting around this and still importing and visualizing it, but it was really, really slow to render. So I've got a couple of blogs on this if anyone's exploring those options of how can we display highly detailed data in Icon Map as WKT, which exceeds the character limits. Um, but this was a really good option for us. The client was actually able to host their really detailed raster imagery. Um, as on a WMS, create the layer, and we were able to bring it into Power BI using the icon map. So in today's example, I want to take a look at a um, publicly available WMS data set uh, for the New South Wales koala tree indices. So this is available on the New South Wales um, seed website. Uh, here we've got a link in the Power BI file. And you can see that a WMS layer is available. So all we need to do is a little bit of uh, mapping and DAX magic to make it work. So let's get started. The first step is to insert the icon map visual into your Power BI report. For those of you who are new to icon map, um, I've got an introductory uh, video blog showing you how to get started with icon map. It is a custom visual, so you'll have to add it um, from the custom visual library and um, insert a new visual. What I might do, because it's always interesting um, just to rebuild the visuals from scratch, so we can be sure that we cover off on all steps. Um, I'll just put this uh, completely new icon map visual here on the canvas. What we need to render the icon map visual is just a feature, uh, a data um, set in the category and the size fields. So just a note here, I'm using the original icon map visual. This is a free custom visual. In a future video, I'll explore how we can um, connect up to WMS layers in the new icon map pro visual, which is a paid licensed visual. So let's have a look. I'm just going to bring in any old data just to get it rendering. Um, here we can see that we've got our map rendering. In this example, I'm not interested in uh, displaying any actual data on the map itself coming from my data model. I really just want to display the WMS layers. 
And I know they're um, across New South Wales, so I've just zoomed into New South Wales uh, region of Australia. So that's the first step. The second step is to host or find your spatial layer as a WMS. So if we have a look at our example here, I'll just bring up uh, that browser again. This is our WMS layer. So if I click on this link here, we can see um, the script behind the scenes, the XML file. Now I'm no expert in uh, reading XML or WMS. I just know what I need to know to get this to work in Power BI. As I mentioned, there's a lot of good information and examples on the dedicated Icon Map website. But the first thing that we need um, within our Icon Map visual is we actually need to go into the formatting options and under WMS layer, we'll toggle this on. What we need to enter um, into the visual is the WMS URL and the WMS layer name. So the WMS URL in our example is here. So we can see here the URL string. We just need it all the way up until uh, the question mark here. So I'm just going to copy that base URL and paste it in here. And the second thing we need is the WMS layer name. So a WMS um, uh, can consist of lots of different layers. We have to tell it what what layer name we're referring to. And if we scroll down through the XML code, you can see there's a lot of data in here. What you can do, I'm just press Control F uh, and you can type in name. And then we can see all of the instances of name. So if we go down, what we're looking for are the layer names. So here we can see the first layer name is actually zero. So in this data set, I think they've used uh, just integers as kind of IDs or quick references for the individual layers. So we can see that the layer name is zero, but the title of that layer here is a koala habitat information base, koala tree index, south coast. And if we keep scrolling down, we can see the next layer name is layer one. And that is for the riverina. So we can see we've got actually numbers, I think all the way up to nine. So if we just put in hard code in one of those layer names here, just to take a look, I'll put one. We can see that that, um, that populates here. If we did zero, we can see this section here is populated. If we want to display multiple layers at the same time, we just concatenate it with a comma. So we can see that they're all popping on. And that's it. So essentially, if you wanted to display um, a WMS layer using icon map and you wanted everything to be static, um, that's all you need to know. You need to know the WMS URL and the layer name. But if we want to take it to the next level and make it data driven, you can see that we can actually change the URL string or the layer name based on some conditional formatting. And that's what I want to show you what we can do here um, by changing the layer name um, based on conditional formatting using a concatenate X function. So I'll just keep one of these in here for now. What I'll show you behind the scenes, all I've got is a very simple table which has those 10 different ID numbers. These are our WMS layer name numbers, and then the plain English friendly name corresponding to those IDs. So I wanted to have this so that we could display it in a slicer. And now all we have to do is write a function using concatenate X to uh, concatenate the different layers together based on what is selected. So what we can do if we're fairly new to writing DAX um, or if we wanted a different way of writing the DAX function is we can actually use a quick measure for concatenating text strings together. So up here in the toolbar, we can toggle on the quick measures and the calculation we wanna find is this concatenated list of values. And the data I wanna bring in is our ID field. So that is the WMS layer name. 
And we can put in the number of values before truncation. Um, we want to include them all. I could put 10. I'm just going to put 20 just as a safeguard. And you can see that that inserts a measure into our report. So this essentially concatenates um, all of the values selected together with a comma and a space. If there are more than 20, then it does ETC at the end. Um, otherwise, if it's less than 20, it just does it as a list. So what we want is we want to make sure that there is no space after the comma to get the formatting right. So I've just edited that slightly. And then what we can do is we can bring in um, this list of values here to make it dynamic. And we can see now if we select everything, then all of the WMS layers display, or we could just toggle on and off the areas that we're interested in. You can see just how quick it is at rendering these very high resolution raster images. So it can be really powerful to allow you to display a lot of data really quickly inside your Power BI reports. So I hope you found this useful for your study. Um, as I mentioned, if you're interested in exploring the new Icon Map Pro visual, I'll be doing a future video having a look at visualizing WMS layers using that newer version of the, um, of the custom visual. Please reach out if you have any questions or other mapping or environmental uh, focused challenges you'd like us to explore in future videos. And thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.